Nobody knows how the story of his life began. He had made up his mind to be a friend to everyone, to everything, even if they proclaimed him an outsider, an emigrant of the soul. Had he really once been born? Did he have a mother, a father, a birthplace, a sky of his own? It seemed to him that his whole life had taken place in only one day, and he didn't even want to know about it. And did the stars know this? How many nights he had spent under them. If only he could have come closer to them. But the streets stretched out in his soul like an endless road. At last, the play of his life had halted to listen to the speech of the traveller who had said nothing. He talked and talked. He was convinced that the time that had flown past was a train seized up on a rusty track. This was the point he had been searching for. Life. The thirst for life. They were all thirsty. And not a drop of water in the streets. So they were drunk with thirst. Why did the birds visit him so often? Why did the dogs bark here? Everything had its own significance. That's why he was forever thirsty. That's why he never stopped speaking. Yet, at one moment, he did think to himself, Have I gone mad? Nothing is clear to me anymore and it never will be. His memories were like a broken reel of film with strange, faint images. Some of the pictures were scribbled over with irregular lines, others damaged by the fangs of time. How swiftly his youth and his whole life had passed. If only he could turn the waters of the rivers into alcohol, into steam, how much less painfully would his soul sail in that case? He understood it was his fate to travel, in freedom, in time, without a wife, without children, without a home. And so it continued until he came across the three steps. He fell in love with them immediately, forever, passionately. His soul began to ascend and descend them. He quivered day and night, breathless, timeless. So began their romance, and so he began to speak. He talked and talked about himself to himself. He wanted to announce something to the stars, to the steps, to the walls, to the flagstones, to the birds, to be close to them. He resolved not to go anywhere anymore, to stay here just here. Now the three steps were the temple of the holy words to which he would go, where he would tread. He had not come here to leave again, just like that. He had come to stay. He had fallen in love for the first time.
The flight of the three steps, the paving stones, the wall. Here he found new friends once more. Fate had drawn them to one place. Birds, dogs, those bohemians of hunger and alcohol. On the streets there was no water anywhere, not a drop, and they were parched with thirst, drunk with thirst. Each one of them was alone, each of them lived for the others. In his soul now lived all souls, the clouds, the rain, and the steps. The steps he continued to take, ascending and descending in life. Towns came to resemble each other. The highways too. Streets, paved, muddy, twisted, colourful, broad, narrow. Streets with no horizon. Thank you. 